With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A body has a center of mass at origin. The x coordinate of the particle will be. So if I talk about the x coordinate of the center of mass, so we can see the x coordinate of the center of mass is defined as m1 x1 plus m2 x2 and so on. In division, I will write total mass that is m1 plus m2 plus m3 and so on. So it is said that it is at origin. So x coordinate will be zero. So now you can see it uh, what you, you get m1 x1 plus m2 x2 plus m3 x3 and so on is equals to zero right okay so if i say all the particle as is at positive coordinate right so i'm saying that the x coordinate of all the particle is positive then if you see if all these terms are positive since mass can't be negative mass can't be negative and all the x coordinate is positive so how can the summation be zero if all the x coordinate is positive so i will write here if all the x coordinate is positive then if all the x coordinate is positive then x c o m can't be zero will be not zero rather it will be positive right and if you see if maybe all negative if i say all negative then the center of mass will be having a negative coordinate so if i say all the x coordinate are in negative right then the center of mass will have a negative x coordinate and then maybe non-zero so it may be possible that uh, they are having a x coordinate of non-zero right uh, in that case all the particle can have non-zero if i am saying non-negative right this is non-negative so in that case if you see here non-negative means what means uh, they are greater than equals to zero so it may be possible that uh, the all the particle is is having zero x coordinate then also the x u m will be zero right so it is possible that uh, all the particles should have could, could have the non-negative value of x coordinate non-negative value of x coordinate right so it is possible and if i talk about the fourth statement may be positive for some cases and negative for some cases obviously it, it, it is quite possible if you see this expression so some of the uh, the expression may be positive and some of the expression may be negative and their summation may be equals to zero it is quite possible so d option is also possible so c and d will be the correct one very simple thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students Download Doubt and App today.